Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> welcome, 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 beloved people of God. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you. Real good. God bless you. Keep sharing. Keep inviting. Keep sharing. Keep inviting Mama Favor. God bless you, Kakai. There is Holland, Nello, Cal Thomas. God bless you guys. God bless you. 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 Make sure you are sharing and you are watching. Prophetess Jaritha, God bless you. Welcome on board. 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 Amen. Please make sure you are sharing right now. Make sure you are sharing right now. Very, very important. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Namdi Ogwebi, I see something that God is about to do in your life. There is going to be a very heavy connection that is going to hit you. There is going to be a very heavy connection that is going to hit you. And it will make your life. It will transform your life. This is something that God has said for you. You might not be seeing signs of good tidings coming your way right now. But God is set to release something you never even expected. More or less like something you never even prayed for. And it's going to change your life. You didn't expect it. You didn't expect it. God bless you, beloved Janice Fishley. God bless you, Terry Bastin. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please make sure you are sharing. Make sure you are sharing and also inviting. Hallelujah. Make sure you are sharing and also inviting. I'm trying to get to make use of that invite both in. Please make sure you are sharing. Make sure you are sharing and inviting. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you, Sherejia. Lucas Shoa. Sadevi Sanchez. Nico, God bless you. Angeline, God bless you. Rodelio Sagi, God bless you. Alex Randa, God bless you. My daughter, Nancy, God bless you. Amen. Please make sure you are sharing this video and you are inviting somebody. Amen. Make sure you are sharing and you are inviting. God bless you. God bless you. Fauci, God bless you. Please, I like you all to share. 
I'd like you all to share. It's going to be very, very important and it's going to bless your life. As you are sharing, I want you to also type on the screen, I am going to testify. I will testify. I must testify. Can you lift up your voice? Declare that and you type it. As soon as you share, immediately you share. You type the word. Amen. Let your confession be your possession. Uh, Pastor Tara Walker, God bless you. How have you been? Tara Walker. Tyrone. Onan Sonia. How are you? Please make sure you are sharing right now. Make sure you are sharing. We are not going to waste much time. I just want to differentiate something to you tonight. I just want to give you, I want to give you a quick revelation that is going to help your life. God bless you, Sister Laurie. God bless you, Sister Laurie. Amen. Mashe <clears throat> Krizabalada. Please make sure you are sharing and you are inviting somebody. Call your friends and family, those that are not here, and those that you know you want them to also be a part of what God is doing. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to let you know that uh, to the glory of God, to the glory of God, uh, God has added another child to this family. Amen. This morning, this morning, uh, okay, it was on Monday, Monday morning, God has added another child, another baby, another soul to this family. Amen. Glory to God. God has added another soul to this family. Amen. God has added another baby. You all remember... Uh, Mama Gladys Commodore, which we prayed for last night concerning the daughter who was in the hospital, who was in the hospital last night. And uh, we prayed for her, and uh, to God be the glory, the child is saved, the mother is saved, she delivered the child successfully to the glory of God. And the doctor already said the mother is tired and the child is tired, but yet, because there was a praying force, they delivered the child the child was delivered and to god be the glory they are alive i want you to know that god we serve is a mighty god that he is still doing what he knows how to do best so i want you to take charge and take hold of this season because god has not stopped doing good and he will not stop doing good so beloved child of god if you are watching me i'd like you to also share i'd like you to also share please I want you to share if you're watching very very important i might not get to waste much of your time on today's broadcast hallelujah i'm just gonna do a little 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 i'm just gonna do it little 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 please make sure you are sharing 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 quickly Quickly make sure you are also sharing. Make sure you are also sharing. Make sure you are also sharing. Glory to God. Glory to God. <clears throat> How many of you are ready tonight? How many of you are ready tonight? If you are ready, I'd like you to talk. Just type, I am ready. Hallelujah. Type, I am ready. And I told you, God has not stopped doing miracles. Hallelujah. God has not stopped doing miracles. 
so if you are watching I want you to connect your faith let your mind be prepared amen I want your mind to be prepared amen because a lot of you come on the broadcast i'm not just going to be doing broadcast because i'm doing broadcast or every other person is doing a broadcast or every other person is praying on facebook no or any time i am here on facebook there is a purpose and there are people that god has assigned for this particular purpose you see we might not be 1000 we might not be 2000 we might not be 100 we might not be 200 but the bible made us to understand that we are two people or more are gathered in the name of jesus he said his presence is definitely there so it is neither by this size or neither by the amount but what God is said to do whenever His presence is available, Amen. Mighty things happen. You all know, like I told you, our sister, whom the doctor has already confirmed that the child is tired and the mother is tired and all that. But to the glory of God, we all prayed right here on the screen, right here together as one family. And to the glory of God, the child was delivered. Amen. So please, from as many of you that are watching, as many of you that are watching, I want you to know that you are not just watching the broadcast because you want to watch or because someone told you uh, to just come on the broadcast. No, you are watching because you also want to be a partaker of what God is doing here. Amen. Thank God for God, which I know that He has been giving us proofs. He has been giving us signs. He has been giving us evidence. Glory to God. So I want to let you know that God is still speaking to you. God still have something in store for you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go nowhere. Please, I'd like you to take this opportunity to also share and invite some other persons who is supposed to be on here with you. Amen. You know your friends and family who is supposed to be here, but they are not here. So I'd like you to also share and invite them. I think there are people that are supposed to be coming up on this broadcast. I'm just seeing the number of people that are trying to come on, but I'm not seeing their names. Amen. Sometimes people try to connect, but I might just be seeing their numbers like one, two, or three people, or four, or five, or ten who wants to connect, but I'm not able to picture to see their names when I click on the list. Amen. So if you are here, just use the share button quickly. Use the share button quickly. I'm going to try to do that myself. Amen. I'm going to try to do that myself. Some people say they don't get notification from me when I go live. Some people don't re re receive a notification from me when I go live. So I'm going to just try as much as possible to use the, the invite button that is shown on my screen right here to also invite friends to watch. Hallelujah. Okay. And for those of you that are watching right now, if you know you have YouTube on your phone, you can kindly subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and God bless you as you do so, so that you can also stay updated. You can also stay updated. I'm just trying to use this uh, invite key, because I know some people will always complain that they don't get a notification from me when I go live. Where is Fabianus?
Where is Fabianus and the rest of them? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we are good to go. We are good to go. We are good to go. Chris and the younger, God bless you. God bless you. Share, 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 share. Invite, share and invite, share and invite. Deborah Brokinson, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. Tonight, I'm not going to waste much time. I'm not going to waste much time. I'm just going to share a brief word of exhortation. Amen. I'm just going to share a brief word with you guys. Glory to God. I'm just going to share a brief word with you. My God. So if you are on here, get set for something. Get set for something great. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory, great things He has done. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. We are ready to go. So if you are ready, just type, I am ready. Let me see those that are here. I'm not wasting much time. I just have a few minutes because I will also be having a, a whole lot of activities later today. Peter, how are you? Peter, Dalato, how are you? Today, I'm going to be having a very, very tight schedule. Very tight schedule. So I'm just going to try to hasten things off. I'll be teaching on... Uh, Growing in the place of prayer and also growing in the place of wisdom. These two things are very, very important in life. Amen. These two things are very, very important in life. So I want to really make you understand a couple of things. I want to really make you understand a couple of things about the place of prayer and the place of wisdom. Amen. So uh, we are going to try to balance that effect. Amen. We are going to balance that effect so that you really know the areas. God bless you, Sister Favor Celestine. The areas that you are growing. Amen. So if you are growing in the place of prayer and you are not growing in the place of wisdom, then there happens to be an issue. Ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Now let us pray. Lift up your voice. Open your mouth. Commit to this broadcast into the hand of God. Commit to this broadcast into the hands of God wherever you are. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and begin to commit to this broadcast into the hands of God. Lord, take absolute control of tonight's broadcast with the month and with the clay. Oh God, precious Father, by your spirit into this broadcast, the lives be transformed. The lives be transformed. The lives be transformed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mala Crojele Bresula Toshana Mandia Prasala Dava Shantaya. 
le colo boche cruze palade mande plonzi crisha capato salandia e cove crala de che cruza faladea in onda we lift up your name we lift up your name we lift up your name we lift up your names have your way precious father have your way precious father mako je cris ke pamande ko je plendia lift up your voice and begin to speak to the lord right now Speak to the Lord right now. 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 Mashege do se pranandia. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We give you praise for tonight's encounter. We ask, O oh God, that your hand be released, that your grace be stretched forth, your love be visible, O oh God, in tonight's encounter, that everyone, O oh God, that will be under the influence of this telecast, Lord, may their life receive a transformation. May their life receive a transformation. May their life receive a transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask, precious Father, that after now, O oh God, your name be glorified. 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 Tonight, encounter, O oh God, let it be for someone who is connected tonight. Lord, and let their life be established, O oh God, to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that every form of wickedness, every plot of the enemy against this broadcast tonight will not stand. It shall 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 not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, Marco Jevre de Bala de Kenzu Freteza Jeken de Bahata, Le Cruzele de Besha Cruzele Dia Zekre Sapalande. I manda balabashan dalabahakande. I zo krije velede ma kruzi valada. I kelomande krasala de penje kriske pataya. I zo kendo je krise balade me kuje lataya. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask precious Father, take absolute control and let your name be glorified in this encounter tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever that belongs to this broadcast, O oh God, keep them and preserve them. Malokijo Fratea. And whoever that doesn't belong to this broadcast, O oh God, we ask that you take them to the pit of abyss right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agent of darkness that has been assigned to cause a limitation over this broadcast, to cause an issue in this broadcast, to hinder the network, O oh God, to hinder the atmosphere. Right now, we command judgmental fire to come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every camp of the wicked, O oh God, we ask right now to receive judgmental fire. Every gathering, O oh God, that is not of God against this broadcast tonight, we ask, precious Father, we come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. By fire, by thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. As I decree and declare, Father, so shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Tonight, I told you I'm going to be taking you on a very, very quick series. Once again, I'd like to say welcome. Once again, I'd like to say welcome. So I'm going to be taking you on a very, very quick series. Amen. Which uh, I just want to share with you guys. In a few minutes, I should be done. This broadcast is not meant to take a whole lot of time. Just to share, just to share a few words with you so that you can understand if you get to see if you get to see the topic of today's program amen if you get to see the topic of the program which says growing in the place of prayer and also growing in the place of wisdom Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to let you know that there are some certain set of people that are growing in the place of prayer 
spiritually but they are lagging behind in the place of wisdom hallelujah so many people are growing every day in the place of prayer but have neglected the house of wisdom ladies and gentlemen you should understand there is a difference between you praying and there are times that the wisdom needs to be applicable okay now, if we look at the Bible from the book of Proverbs, okay, let me take this. Let me take this from this version. Proverbs chapter number four. Proverbs chapter four from verse number six to seven, which says, Do not forsake wisdom. Hallelujah. Do not forsake what? Wisdom. Listen, look at what wisdom is going to do. Look at what wisdom is going to do. When you go, you continue, he says, and she will protect you. But first of all, what the scripture was actually telling us is that there is need for us to catch wisdom. There is need for wisdom. Now, if you look at the Bible from the book of Proverbs chapter 1 from verse 7, we say it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now, what was the Bible trying to tell us in that particular aspect? Ladies and gentlemen, look at it. If you actually despise wisdom, amen, you are actually despising instruction just because they go in line because when you have the wisdom you can be able to maintain and understand instruction amen so you cannot be a man or a woman that is not wise and you are praying every day now let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen you can pray from genesis to revelation but if you are not wise and sensitive to get what god is saying at a particular given time you will miss it and you think that you you think that you are praying and God is not answering. No. There are times he has already given us everything that we so demand as we pray. The Bible says that when we pray, we believe that it is already done. So it is already done. So some people are in business today and they are actually praying for this business to grow. Forgetting the fact that there is need for wisdom, that they should understand the principles behind that business they want to do. A lot of people fail in the business and they keep praying and asking God that they need financial breakthrough. Forgetting the fact that they have not even known about the business they want to do. You are planning to go into a business and you've not studied the do's and the don'ts of the business and you expect the miracle to happen. Amen. You want to start a business and you are you are telling god to bless you and to prosper you in that business while you don't know you don't know the market you are going into you don't know about the market you are going into you because you see oh that someone went into fashion business and he or she is making it and you begin to think okay uh, it's, it's okay for me to go into uh, this fashion business or you want to go into uh, accessories or mobile accessories or digital IT market but listen but you think that when you go into this market you are going to succeed why because other people are doing it and they are succeeding forgetting the fact that you need to also apply wisdom you have prayed apply wisdom God has already released answers but for you to manage the answers you need wisdom Am I talking to somebody here? You need wisdom for you to be able to manage answers. Most of the time, wisdom is profitable. Hallelujah. Wisdom is profitable. I tell you, I was just contemplating on some things late, uh, earlier today and God was just taking me through so many things that I was wondering that some people are making a hell lot of mistake and they are they are putting the blame on God while God has already done his part like I told you the other time there are particular things that you are going to do for yourself there are some battles God will not come down to fight that you fight for yourself amen now for example you are going into a business and you don't know mathematical calculations and you expect to get gains every time amen so if you already 
filled in the place of wisdom, it will make your prayer place looks ineffective. Am I talking to somebody? It will make the place of prayer looks ineffective. Now, when you look at the Bible from the book of Ephesians chapter number 5 from verse 15 to 16, which says, Be very careful then how you live, not as an unwise. So even in life, everything you do is attached to wisdom. So every opportunity, now look at it, he said, he said, making most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Even for you to survive in these days of evil, you need to apply wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, God will open up the spiritual eyes for you to see some certain things. But there are some certain things that you will not get to be revealed unto. It will not be revealed to you unless the place of wisdom is intact. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? So you need to understand this. You need to understand this. We always teach you guys about praying. He's going to teach you all about praying. But some of the times, life facts are also important for you to understand. The principles of life, you need to understand. Amen. You need to understand. I'm trying to put up something for you very quickly. For you to understand what I'm saying. Now. When you talk about wisdom. When you talk about wisdom. You should understand. It is just the ability for you to be able to think and act using what you know. Amen. So God gives you. The vision. Amen. Now it is left for you to apply with what you know. Wisdom. You need to think and you apply what you know. Amen. Amen. So you should understand. You can't just even jump into a relationship. Yes, God shows you that this man is your man. Amen. But there are some certain times that in life, wisdom needs to be applied even in relationship. In ministry, wisdom needs to be applied. What academically, what area of life you need to apply wisdom? Some of the times you look at yourself and you say, Oh, the man is going to change when you are married. A man who has started abusing you already, even when you are not married. You guys are not married yet, and he has already started abusing you. And you think he's going to change when you guys are married. Common sense. And you go and disturb God every day. Oh, I want him to change. He has not even started. He has not even gotten gotten married to you and he's doing all this stuff. And you think that when he gets married, that he's going to change. Ladies and gentlemen, you apply simple wisdom. You are wise. Catch the revelation. See, some of these times, most people might not get to teach you these things. Amen. You might not get to understand these things or some people might not open it up to you like this. But you should know that it is very, very important. Yes, some of the times, even in the place of discernment, wisdom is applied. Amen. Even in the place of discernment, when you are even believing God for the discernment, the discernment spirit comes upon you, wisdom is also needed to be applicable. You need to apply wisdom. Am I talking to somebody here? I feel I'm not talking to anybody here. Am I talking to somebody right now? It's a simple logic that you need to understand. But when you are trying to figure out, you already know that yes, a car that is coming at a moving speed, at a very heavy speed, you should know that when you move at a certain speed, that you get hit. Simple. It's just what you know. You can think it immediately. You can reason. Your place of reasoning is active. So if you if you have a low place, if your wisdom place, if your place of wisdom is not growing, 
if you are not growing in the place of wisdom, beloved child of God, I need you to pray tonight and ask God to increase your place of wisdom because it is very, very important. You can pray 365 days and God already released answers to you and you don't even know that it has already been released. Why? Because you have already neglected that aspect. Amen. You have already neglected that aspect of you. I'm telling you, you should know. I tell people, life is spiritual, yes. Life is 100% spiritual. But you can't treat the spiritual things every time without applying wisdom. It is wisdom that will also guide you in the tactics that you are going to apply in every battle am i talking to somebody here so if you understand some certain things when prayer already gives you the back up wisdom gives you the necessary guidelines for you to take amen now look at it it is only wisdom that made david to ask and inquire if the battle he is going to encounter will eat him up it is wisdom that will able or that was able to make David inquire the same way Gideon, the same way Joshua. Wisdom. So if they are not wise enough to be able to even ask God questions, Lord, should I go into this? Lord, should I do this? the place of wisdom and some people neglect that aspect that is why some of the times they don't even have that that sense to pray and to ask god because if your mind your place of wisdom is functioning and is is intact you will be able to know the time to even ask god about some certain set of things and some of the times that you don't even need to ask because god has already released the answers that are very clear. So wisdom automatically helps you to identify certain things at a given point in time. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. I told you this uh, is not going to be long. Even it is 1 p.m. right here. We end the broadcast. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, the summit, now you look at it. The summit is also connected to wisdom. Anybody that tells you about the sermon, yes, the sermon is also connected to wisdom. Amen. You know, it is wisdom that tells you this man is not good. This man is good. Amen. You know. Listen, why did you why did you imagine that when the Bible said, By their fruit you shall know them? What fruit are they bearing? How will you be able to know the fruit they bear? Did I just say something here? The Bible says, by their fruit, yes, you shall know them. But how will you know them if you are not wise enough? The Bible spoke in plain language there. By their fruit. It didn't say by their spiritual fruit. Am I talking to somebody? Indicated. He didn't say by their spiritual fruit. He said by their fruit. So automatically what they are showcasing is what will tell you who they are. So if you are not wise, you can be able to figure out what they are showcasing. Am I talking to somebody here? So it's just a clear and a plain language. Some things that you guys neglect. This is, I'm just teaching you revelation. I'm just teaching you what you need to know at a particular point in time so that you can grow from a certain level where you are amen so you are not just uh in a spiritual cage and you 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 are, you are some of the times a lot of people are spiritually free but mentally they are caged amen mentally they are caged and when it is when it happens like that ladies and gentlemen i tell you that you begin to see yourself struggling with the same thing you are struggling with thinking that god has not done it for you god has already done it for you amen now you come to discover that most of the people whom you even call the prayer warriors the prayer warriors even in the church you look at them that most of the times that they are not even the most successful people amen 
the most people you find praying on the 24 hours of the day god is out there telling you go and do something he has already spoken to you i will bless the works of your hand so what are you doing if you are in the place of prayer 24 hours of the day for seven days without you going to do something out there when god has already given you the wisdom of what you are said to do amen how do you how do you want to make it what is it he is going to bless Wisdom tells you that you should go and walk. And God will prosper the works of your hand. Am I talking to somebody here? God will prosper the works of your hand. I believe I'm, I'm, I'm saying something right here. I stand to be corrected. So, you should know what I'm talking about. Beloved child of God. You should understand. Hmm? You should understand. You should understand. You grow in the place of prayer. You grow in the place of wisdom. Amen. Now, look at it. What, what the Bible says from the book of Proverbs chapter number 16 from verse 16. Now the Bible says, How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get insight rather than silver. Mm. So, if you get wisdom... It is also equivalent to you getting the money, getting wealth. What is it you are looking for? So when you get the wisdom, you can be able to apply it anywhere. In business, relationship, academics. Anywhere it can be applied. It can be applied. Now, now you see, some people let me give this some people think oh because i am a christian because i'm a christian you're having an exam and you believe that god is going to come down to write the exam for you because i'm a christian i serve god yes it does make you to be lazy in reading It doesn't make you to be lazy in reading. So you don't want to read, but you want to pass. And you are expecting the angels of God to come and help you to pass. How possible is that? Yes, if you pray and you apply wisdom, and wisdom tells you to read your books, you read materials, even as a Christian or as a pastor or as a preacher, every day you need to also read and go in search of new revelations. Amen. So you can't even you can't even pray or you can't even have an effective prayer life if you don't have wisdom because there are some of the times that you need wisdom to be able to take you towards the path of prayer. Amen. Some of the times you should wisdom tells you how to compare, how to put together the things that you need, even the things that you want to ask from God. Amen. So you are very constructive in the things you are asking from God, even in times of prayer. So when you pray, you apply wisdom. Even in prayer, you see things begin to work out for you. They need to be measured. They need to be measured. Amen. Somebody say, Papa, pray for me. Pray for me. I want to pass my exam. But you, you don't even have one test book on the course you want to pray on the course you are writing an exam for you don't even have a material that connects to what you are even praying for amen you have not even one day sit down to read the course you are even praying for and you want to pray we you will pray yes you will pray god will answer but the result is still there the result will be there and at the end of the day you think that the person who prayed did not pray well but you didn't apply wisdom Wisdom will let you know that you need to read this at a particular time. You need to read this. You need to fix up these things. You need to pick up these things. You need to know these are the things you need to do. You need to go out there to get things done. Wisdom tells you that. And when you do these things and you also pray, ladies and gentlemen, you see your life being effective. Amen. And the way your life will begin to flourish and people will begin to understand, oh, Life you pray 
you act. You pray and you act. That is the only way for you to move. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can understand this revelation I'm giving tonight, I believe your life will be better. I believe your life will be better. Watch this. You might expect me to come here to preach or to prophesy here. But I want to give you, I'm giving you keys. I'm giving you keys. I'm giving you keys that you will not even forget in a hurry. So that when you begin to apply them in your life, you begin to see result. Amen. So you begin to see result. Amen. A lady came to me the other day and told me that she wants me to pray for a man. She wants me to pray for her. She's believing God for this man. They have been praying together. But anytime you go to the man house, you keep on seeing different types of female. You keep on seeing different faces, different faces. And you are still asking me to pray for that same man. Are you in a competition? The same person you are asking me to pray for, you are the one. You already know every day different ladies. And you are still praying. You are still praying. You are still believing God for that same man. You need to apply common. Amen. Wisdom tells you already that that is not your way. If you are wise enough, you know that that way is not for you. So you wouldn't even stress and make the things even prolong the whole thing. Amen. Oh, pray for him. Pray for him, I want thing, but every day you keep on seeing him with different ladies. Am I communicating here? I'm just telling you what you need. Amen. Some of the times, or most of the times, all you need is the real truth. Amen. It's not all about painting these not painting this for you to be to feel excited or for you to feel oh god for you to feel happy amen so if you already balance the equation grow in the place of prayer yes as a child of god you need to grow in the place of prayer and you grow in the place of wisdom ladies and gentlemen you will always be outstanding happy new month sister linda I adore her. Guess I forgot to wish everyone happy new month. But happy new month for those of you that are still in the first day of uh, April. So ladies and gentlemen, this you need to hear. You need to listen. So if you are watching right now and you have not shared, I'd like you to share very quickly. Amen. I'd like you to share very quickly. So I just gave this word. I was asking God, does you have any word for his people? And God said to me, go and tell them about the place of wisdom that they need to grow. That so many of them are still little. They are still kids in the place of wisdom. Yes, you can be growing in the place of prayer and not growing in the place of wisdom. Which has an adverse effect on you. It has an adverse effect on your life. Amen. As an advert effect on your life. Amen. Wisdom tells you you are doing the wrong thing. You need to think. These things I'm doing, are they really okay? Are they really good? Are they really helping my life? Are they really helping me to grow? So if you know this, if you grow, if you grow. In the place of wisdom i don't think there are some challenges that wouldn't even come your way because you already know how to tackle them you grow in the place of wisdom when you even read the see let me tell you if you grow in the place of wisdom it will even make it easier for you to catch revelation behind the word of god hello if you grow in the place of wisdom it makes it even easier for you to understand revelations behind the word of God. Because there are some certain times that you will even read the word. And you get some fresh insight. Because uh, your place of wisdom, there is growth. You can be able to 
decode a whole lot of things signs symbols speech and all that so when somebody comes to you you can already even by the way they even appear to you you can even understand some of the times some people just say oh uh, how do you get to know some of these things that you know uh, yeah I'm a praying man the gift is there the anointing is there the grace is there in the place of wisdom there is growth so some of the times when I even talk to people when I'm talking to someone I already know where you are actually coming from amen why as I'm talking to you the place of wisdom is activated the prophetic insight is activated so even when God reveals some signs to me spiritually I can be able to decode the meaning of the things that he showing me now listen there are some of the times that God reveals things to you in parables not in plain language and that is why some people even fail to know that God showed them these things amen that is how some of them they don't even know that God showed them the things even earlier before they even happened because they have not really grown in the place of wisdom. Am I communicating right here? I'm just giving you clues. I'm giving you clues. Just a few minutes before I go right now. Just a few minutes. I told you I'm not going to be wasting much time right here. But if I'm led to pray with any one of you, I'm going to do that. Amen. So you see, I meet people every day. See people every day see new stuff every day but watch this if you catch wisdom if you get enough wisdom there are certain blessings that comes to you and they are unimaginable blessings amen amen so I was at the airport and I met with a white man and we were actually discussing. We were talking, uh, we were en route to UAE and something happened. We were talking and talking and talking and talking. And before he even finished his words, I was already giving him information on what he was even talking about. And he was looking. How did you get to know all this? Listen. As long as I know the word of God. And I am growing also in the place of wisdom. There are issues that I can't just dive into. There are issues that I can't just fall a victim of. Because in prayer, it is 100%. In wisdom, 100%. That is why even Solomon asked wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Glory to God. Wisdom. He asked for wisdom because he knew that it was even more for him, more profitable for him to gain more wisdom. Gain wisdom. Gain understanding. Gain knowledge. And he was far, far better than a lot of people that were even ahead of him at the time of his reign. You see? So there are, there, are, there are so many things that you are going to gain where you grow in the place of wisdom. There are a lot of things that you are going to gain when you grow in the place of wisdom. Amen. So you catch the revelation. You catch the revelation and you walk with the revelation. And I pray that God is going to do something great in your life. God must do something great in your life. So if you are watching me, and you have not shared this video i like you to quickly share quickly share quickly share quickly share quickly share right now quickly share right now so i'm going to check uh if there is i have okay this already 1 p.m it's already 1 p.m so i might get to go off So I'm just waiting. If there are people that are here and you've not shared this video, I'd like you to share before I pray a general prayer right now before I go. So I'm not going to waste much time on this broadcast. Uh, just six minutes. 
six minutes I'm gonna be spending just here six more minutes uh, if God permits me to exceed that time I will amen now look at what the Bible says from the book of Psalm chapter 90 from verse 12 it said teach us to number our days it said that we may gain a heart of wisdom That we may gain a heart of wisdom. Amen. So, uh, you are going to see. You are going to see. Okay, someone say, how do we get uh, wisdom? Now, you look at this. Wisdom is a virtue. Wisdom is a virtue. And it's can be acquired through experience amen you can also acquire wisdom from experience the same way i told you that you can even read from what has gone or happened previously just like reading the scripture knowing the word of god amen so by you also reading the word of god you can grow in wisdom and by you also Learning from other people's experience, you can grow in wisdom. And when you put your, 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 your knowledge or you put your knowledge to test, you can acquire also, you can become a wise person. Amen. So the deeper you go in the word of God, the more wiser you will become. The more you spend time to gain information, you gain revelation. Amen. Information is good. Revelation is better. Amen. So you see, you grow in wisdom. You grow in wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. That is the words. Say shared to six groups. Okay, I think uh, I've tweeted that of uh, Juliet, Sister Juliet. Sister Juliet. You need to try new things. You also need to go places. You try a whole set of new things. And you, when you even read the word, sometimes you not just read, you don't just read one version of the scripture. You can also read other versions of the scripture. Amen. You can also read other versions of the scripture. You leave your comfort zone. Okay, someone said, for finance lily sutaria we are praying for you amen sometimes you are afraid of public speaking you can even volunteer to speak in the public amen look at it some of you some of you you feel okay you just want to be by yourself you don't want to you don't want to talk to anybody you don't want to you just want to be alone you can't grow in wisdom you have to expand you have to be in an expanded form hallelujah you have to be in an expanded form amen make an effort to talk now i was i was talking i was talking to a man on board uh master i think master raj uh on the flight to freetown on the flight to freetown and we were talking i made the post on that one of the uh, one of these days i think if i could remember so he was telling me, he was telling me about experience while I was telling him about belief. Now, this is where science meets spirituality. Amen. This is where science meets spirituality. Amen. So if we didn't get to relate or we didn't get to talk, I wouldn't have learned some things from him and he wouldn't have even learned some things from me because he was an elderly man and I was very keen I asked a lot of questions I asked questions and questions that I gained more information about the scientific thinking amen about the scientific thinking so the same way you should know ladies and gentlemen that you also need to explore you need to explore, you need to explore, you need to explore. 
you need to explore you need to explore so that you can even get more the capacity of what you know you increase the capacity of what you know so if you were just uh, maybe formerly you were just reading one books you can extend reading thin books sometimes a lot of people have even closed their books that no they don't even read books they don't even read bibles they don't nothing they don't even read anything they're just there they are just there like they are just there amen they are just there like they are just there we're doing nothing how do you even think to know some there are some cases that might come your way some things that might come your way that maybe you have read through that it has occurred in the life of someone before and uh, you just read through it and you see uh, oh I came across something like this earlier on this method was applied this method was applied this worked and this didn't work amen by so doing you can be able to treat you can be able to treat some issues amen so you are also growing in wisdom hallelujah so uh, tonight I think I have six minutes. Six minutes here. Yeah, I think I I exhausted the time. I exhausted the time. But I just want to like how many more minutes? Okay, this is one minute past. One minute past. One minute past. Amen. Amen. So okay. Let's see. I think someone asked the question. I'm going back. Going back to your question. So what triggered the drive for wisdom? Amen. Wisdom is very important in life. Amen. Wisdom is very, very important in life. Amen. In as much as you are living on the surface of the earth, in as much as you are living on the surface of the earth, there is need for you to gain wisdom. Amen. Because every day by day, things are happening. Every day by day, there are new occurrences, physical occurrences, spiritual occurrences, emotional occurrences. So you should know. That these things are keys you need wisdom these things should make you know that wisdom is profitable there is need for you to gain to gather to garner more wisdom hallelujah you should gain wisdom so you see a, a whole lot of people sometimes you even wonder why is it that some people that they don't pray the way you pray they don't pray as much amen they don't get to pray as much as you do but yet you see them successful some of the time you people now look at this look at this sometimes people say i hear people say why is it that they some of the people who don't even get to pray the way we pray are succeeding more than us hello some people say why is it that people that are not praying the way we are praying they are succeeding more than us how many of you, you you've come you've come across something like that you've come across it so why is it that these people they are not even praying they are not even fasting as much as i do but they are succeeding they are making it more than i why i know some of you might have come across it maybe some you might not but i've come across people who say that and i begin to tell you there are people you are a christian but you have not grown in the place of wisdom god is giving you fresh ideas for business for you to make exploits and you to gain profits and you are still there praying and still talking to god when he has already released answers Hello, am I confusing you? Am I convincing you? There are some comments I'm not getting here. 
I think they come in late. Because they have been able to analyze. They spend time. Yes, they spend time in prayer and they also spend time in analyzing what at a certain point in time, what the society needs and how they can be able How they can be they are, they can be able to tackle those problems and they gain profit. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of people that are living on earth today. What they specialize on is to seek for solution to the current problems. They, they also pray, but they also make research. They make available solutions to problems of the society. And you say they are successful and you wonder how did they make it? How are they successful? Yes, they are successful because they are wise. They spend quality time. They invest quality time in praying and also making an impact in this generation. Sister Anna, God bless you. Amen. I think I give an answer to that right now. God bless you, Glorine. So ladies and gentlemen, you should understand. You say, oh, they are successful people. Some of the times, a lot of people even attribute the blessing of God to the devil. Amen. They attribute the blessing of God to the devil. Or because this young man is making it and they say, oh, maybe he has joined the voodoo or he has joined uh, a gang or he has joined a cult or he has joined a secret society and all that. Forgetting the fact that this person just invested time in prayer and invested time in what he knows how to do. Amen. Listen, if you are doing something and you are also praying, God has something to bless you for. You are wise. You are wise. A lazy man or a lazy woman is equivalent to a fool. And a fool cannot gain success. Am I talking to somebody? So you see, these things are just interchanging. They are things, little things that we don't know. But we should know that the little things that we don't know about, they are things that we should know. Amen. Yeah, we pray, we shout fire, we kill, we destroy. Some of the times we need to be successful because we are the embodiment of Christ. We are carrying, we are the image of Christ. So we need to show forth that yes, Say according to his riches in glory. So as a Christian, you are permitted to be rich. As a Christian, you are permitted to be a millionaire. You are permitted to be a billionaire. Someone once said, oh, why is this person buying expensive things? And you think, only someone who is not wise will know that, okay, he spent money. If he spent 1,000, okay, let's say he spent like 1,000 USD to buy a car. He spent 1,000 USD to buy a car. And uh, do you know how many people he has enriched? Those that are working in the manufacturing company, those that are taking care of the headlight, those that are taking care of the painting of the car, those that are taking care of the oil, making the engine oil, those that are taking care of making the fuel, they are doing something and they get rewarded. So you see, it's only a fool that will think, okay, he bought this car and this car is expensive and he's, why is he not enriching the life of people? Amen. Why is he not enriching the life of people? He is enriching the life of many. A man who bought a car of $1,000 or $2,000 or $3,000, he has also helped families. Am I talking to somebody? He has also helped families because the same people that made their way, that were producing the cars, they also have families. They are workers also. They have their wife. They have their children. They pay their bills. They have their responsibilities because they came up with an idea to fix what you need. They fix what these people need, and these people they pay for what they get. It's, it's simple. It is just the logic. It is just the logic, so you should understand. I think I've spent more time. I'm going to be praying right now. This is one hour, ten minutes on the broadcast. So I will be going right now. I hope you guys enjoy tonight's broadcast. Amen.
I hope you guys enjoy tonight's broadcast. So, uh, this is just like a series that I'm going to be teaching on winning wisdom. Amen. It's just like a little series that I'm going to be teaching on winning wisdom. So, if you, if you understand these things, if you understand these things, then you should know that you are going to be succeeding. You are going to be succeeding. As a child of God, you are permitted to succeed. You are permitted to succeed. If you can be able to grow in wisdom. Amen. You grow in wisdom. Oh, Cleopatra Evangelist. God bless you. First time watching. Welcome to the great family. God bless you, beloved. God bless you. Clear past. God bless you, beloved. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. So you see, we are permitted to succeed. We are made to succeed. Balance the place of prayer. Balance the place of wisdom. And it's all good. It's all good. I tell you, this, this word for tonight might not be for everyone, but for those that are here, I want you to know that this word really will help you. It will help you to grow. It will help you to grow. Even financially, it will help you to grow. Maritally, it will help you to grow. Because when you get wisdom, you can be able to solve some marital issue even without you going oh, overboard. Amen. Wisdom will let you know maybe when your husband is shouting or he's he's angry, there are little things you do to calm him down. Not until you go and disturb heaven. Some little attitude, some little attitude can change his mind. Wisdom. Wisdom. Some little attitude can change his mind. And when you do these things and you pray and you see God takes control. Amen. You pray and you apply wisdom. You pray and you apply wisdom. Okay. Amen. Okay, glory to God. I was also actually reading the comments there. So you all are blessed. You all are blessed. You all are blessed. You all are blessed. So if you are watching tonight, I want you to know that something good has been released for you. You have gained a whole lot of wisdom tonight. You have gained some vital keys, vital revelation that you need for your daily life. Amen. For your daily life. Salian Maria, God bless you. Amen. So it is very important for spiritual growth and also for the place of wisdom for you two guys to grow together. So when you grow together, these two things, prayer and wisdom, boom. You see yourself moving high, moving high, moving high. Now, you people wonder, what is it that makes me outstanding from the rest of the people in the country? Now, watch this. I am not better than every other person. I am not better than those that are also doing the same thing that I'm doing. But something keeps us outstanding. Something makes the difference. Now, you see. There are things that I'm going to do, not the same way he's also, also going to do it. There are young men that are in the ministry. And you tend to discover that um, within the shortest period of time, they fold up and they pack up. Amen. Some of the times they are not spiritual attacks, but they have not been able to apply wisdom. They have not been able to apply wisdom. Now, let me tell you, some of the times, a lot of them get carried away by the fame. A lot of them carried away by the glory. Some of them are carried away by the praises. But wisdom will tell you that the glory belongs to God. All glory belongs to Jesus. Amen. So you don't have to get carried away with that. And you see some of them begin to fail and fade. Understand what I'm talking about. 
So you pray and you get wisdom. Mm, you understand what I'm talking about? You pray and you get wisdom, you apply it and you see things begin to move. And some of the times, a lot of people, because I'm just saying this for you to understand what wisdom has to do in your life. Some people, because um, you have been gifted spiritually, you have been gifted spiritually or you have a lot of people are calling you a father a lot of people are submitting under your leadership a lot of you are calling you daddy and you feel that you no longer give people the respect that belongs to them as a young man or as a young woman and you god has anointed you and look at this and you just want to be yes the grace is there the anointing is there a wisdom tells you that you still need to respect those that needs to be respected is as simple as that you respect those that needs to be respected you give respect to whom it belongs to and you see that you are going to flourish amen so some people make that mistake some people make that mistake that they don't even they don't last long so when they make that mistake and uh, you see they don't last long in ministry before you know they think they just begin to depend on past glories Amen. So I tell people, if you know, if you know that this thing that you are actually doing right now is for self-glory, you better not do it. Amen. Because it is not wise and it wouldn't be wise for you to do what you have to do right now and at the end of the day you fail amen so you are receiving all the praises right now and at the end of the day everything goes back to square zero apply every principles of life to the both in ministry, educational, wise, emotional, relationship, wise, financial, wise, everything. Wisdom is needed. Wisdom is needed. Wisdom is needed. Wisdom is needed. So if you get wisdom, you are richer. If you get wisdom, you are richer. And sometimes people come to you to seek for advice. Because you get the wisdom. Amen. You get the wisdom. I pray that everyone who is watching me today, we are going to continue maybe tomorrow, but I pray that everyone who is watching me today, that the Lord is going to release His hand over you, that you gain more wisdom. You gain more wisdom. You gain more wisdom. You gain more wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. And may your mind be open to receive more wisdom. At the end of the day, the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Receive wisdom. I want you to type, I receive wisdom 10 times. Just type, I receive wisdom 10 times. Type, I receive wisdom 10 times. I receive wisdom 10 times. Just type, I receive wisdom 10 times. Just type, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Lift up your voice and ask the Lord for wisdom right now. Just tell God to release wisdom for you. The wisdom you definitely need. Tell God to release for you now. Because when you get the wisdom and you apply in certain situations and time, you will see yourself moving in a dimension 
Amen. I receive wisdom. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Father, release wisdom over your people. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Lord, release wisdom for me. If you ask for it, you will receive. Receive wisdom right now. I receive wisdom. Receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. Receive wisdom. Receive wisdom. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Wisdom is released. Wisdom is released. Wisdom is released. Wisdom is released tonight. Wisdom is released tonight. Wisdom is released tonight. To make an impact in this generation, wisdom is released. The wisdom to make an impact in this generation is released. It's released. It's released. It's released. Wisdom is released. Wisdom is released. Wisdom is released. Makove kaparadea shanda bayo. Wisdom is released. Makradeshe krispela boshe kanda bayo. Say I receive wisdom. The wisdom to make an impact in this generation. The wisdom to make an impact in this generation. The wisdom to make an impact in this generation. Receive, 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 receive. Receive it now. Receive it now. Who is on? must receive
There is somebody watching me right now. You are in a relationship, but you are doubting. You are watching me right now. You are in a relationship, but you are doubting. If this man is really for you, if this man is really for you, you are watching me right now. in a relationship but you are still doubting if this man is for you I don't know you but I see what God is set to do in your life now when wisdom is released and you now that the Sandman spirit will be activated. Because I saw something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. You are in a relationship, but you are still asking, is this really for me? Is this relief for me? You are in a relationship, but you are asking. You are still doubting. There is still doubt. It is clear there is still doubt that you are not sure. You are not sure if it is really for me. You are not really sure but watch this we are not gonna pray much but what I'm praying now is for God to release wisdom over you for you to begin to see what is going on because as I'm talking to you right now you are in this relationship and I see and I see another woman behind there is a lady you are watching me right now you are in the relationship with someone someone is telling you about the relationship both of you are in a relationship but there is someone outside there is someone outside there is someone outside hmm My God. There is someone outside because as I'm talking to you right now, you are already doubting it because you are seeing the signs. You are reading the signs, but you don't want to conclude yet. You don't want to conclude yet. But as I'm talking to you now, there is a lady that is behind that lady is already there and the man is with this lady even as i'm talking to you right now the man that you are with the man that you think that you are in a relationship with is with another woman now is with another woman now jesus christ As I'm talking to you right now, there is a lady, you are watching me right now. You are in a relationship with someone and I'm seeing that this relationship is going on. But you are doubting, you already know. You are having the feeling that this person is seeing another person. Because as I'm talking to you now, I'm seeing the man with another woman in their house and inside this house it is painted like a butter color, a cream color. They are in the house right now. Jesus. Kala dasha grace of Alata. May your eyes be open tonight. Jesus Christ. I don't want to do the prophetic right now. But as I'm talking to you right now, uh, 
my eyes are open the spirit of the lord is upon me and my eyes are open now how will you know you are the one i'm talking to even today there was a kind of an exchange of word i don't know via test or via voice but as i'm talking to you right now kala de krosa falada your eyes be open your eyes be open your eyes be open i don't want to uh i don't want to open i don't want to open some some chapters right here i'm just help, i'm just telling god to help me here i don't want to open some files that he's showing me to open i need no other argument i need no other plea it is enough that jesus died and daddy died for me kala de shukri se palada mande ko sofrata bala shukri se te izo fala de ko kriso la banda krashana mande kriso tahata se krude blada rashanda ya he went for me all the way to Calvary. He went for me. He died to set me free. All the way to Calvary. He went for me. He went for me. Savior went for me. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died to set me free. If you have not shared this video, I'd like you to share. I just want to spend, uh, this is, oh, I've spent over 32 minutes on the broadcast. Exceeding 32 minutes. Good. My God. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. There is somebody here. I don't know why God is just bringing out these chapters to me. I don't want to mention these cases, but God is just giving me these cases. As I'm talking to you right now, as I'm talking to you right now, there is a woman that took the picture of your husband to the altar. There is a woman that took the picture of your man to the altar. And your man is no longer acting the way he's supposed to act. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, oh, let your name be glorified. We give you glory. <laughs> And honor, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Okay, I see somebody said, Daddy, oh, two months watching you, Daddy, locate me, Papa. My God. So you've been watching me two months. You've been watching me two months and I haven't located you. Mm. My God. Okay. I'm just going to do some, I'm just going to do it little, 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 amen. Because these things that God is showing me tonight, me, myself, I don't know. I don't know what things to me tonight. God bless you, Apostle. God bless you.
Hello. Hello. How are you, Raymond? How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm good. And you? Excellent. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Hmm? Yes, I hear. So I've not spoken to you before. No. Why haven't I spoken to him before? Okay, tonight, 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 I specially ask God to give me a word for you. Are you hearing me? Amen. Where is your husband? I'm not married. That's... Because in the in the realm of the spirit, do you know why I ask you where is your husband? Because no. in the realm of the spirit, I see where this man is available in the realm of the spirit, but physically is not there. Because I see where the plot of the wicked ones is to make sure that your 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 relationship life is always prostrated. Are you hearing me? It's true that they want to make sure that your, your relationship life is always prostrated. And in the realm of the spirit, I don't know, is there any I see where the angels of the Lord, they are calling a number. Is there any number that ends with 6013? 6013. That's my number. Ah, because I see where they are calling a number right now. Do you know why I'm telling you this? I see where the angels of the Lord are dialing a number that ends with 6013. Are you hearing me? I don't know. Is this yeah. lost one? Is it plus one? Yeah. Because as I'm talking to you right now, I see they are about to connect you to someone that is going to stay in your life. Because you have experienced some kind of disappointed relationships. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. But tonight, the heavens are open because of you. Amen. The heavens are open because of you. Mali Grecia. Now look at this. Look at this. There is a good news. There is a good yeah. news that is going to locate you. And this, I see where they are visiting you in Florida. Amen. Have you ever been yeah. to Florida? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Florida. You are in Florida? Yeah. Okay, because as I'm talking to you right now, I see where they are releasing this blessing to you in Florida. Amen, amen. And and I was asking God, what are they releasing? And I see something that looks like a ring because they have already made a projection that nothing, nothing good can come into your family. But God said that this time around, He is going to break protocols for the sake of your family. Amen. I receive it. Amen. Are Are you ready to receive? Yes, I'm ready, Daddy. I'm ready. Now let me tell you something. I see what God is said to do for you. It is not it is not distant from now. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's not distant from now because I see January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, Malik, November, December. Before the month of November. Bye. Mm -hmm. Before the month of November, you are crying. Hear me? You are crying. Mm -hmm. But God said, This is the season for you. Hallelujah. This is the season for you. And I was hearing before the month of November. Before the month Amen. of November. I don't know if it is November 1st, or November 2nd, or November 3rd, or November 4th. On November 5th or October 1st, October 2nd, or October 4th, or October 5th, before the mm -hmm. month of November. Is there anything linking you with November? Okay, then. Is there anything linking you with November? Because I see before the month of November, your miracle no, is sure to arrive. No, that. I said your miracle is sure to arrive before the month of November. You will not celebrate will Christmas as a single mother. I will say. Are you sure you are ready to receive? Yes, Daddy, I'm ready to receive. 
Listen to me now. Let me shock you. Do you know there was a time a man of God was even asking to be your friend? <clears throat> no. There is, there, is, there is a man of God. Are you hearing me? There is a man of God that yeah. was your friend. Okay. Are you hearing me? But yeah. he didn't really, didn't really come out straight to tell you. Are you hearing me? Yes, Daddy. Can you hear me? There is. Yes, Daddy. Oh, Malaba Shataya Dabaha. But let me tell you something. This season, the you didn't even expect it. You didn't even see it coming, but it's going to happen. Amen. Amen. Because some someone I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, this is a man that loves God. Amen. This is someone that loves God. I don't know, but I see the man as someone that loves God. And it's going to happen before the month of November. Month is before October, okay. November, this word will not fail. Mm -hmm. okay. Before that month, you are going to celebrate. And we are going to also join you as a family to Amen. celebrate. Amen. Do you have a daughter? No, I had one son, a boy. Because I'm, I'm seeing your next child, you are going to get a daughter. Yes, Daddy, I'm pregnant. Huh? I'm pregnant. You are pregnant? <laughs> yes, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell anybody? <laughs> no. Because as I was as I was talking to you right now, I don't know, but I saw it. I was looking and God was showing me a stomach. God was showing me a stomach. And I was saying, what is the meaning of this? And there is a baby already. Uh, let me let me let me know let me not go deeper. Are you hearing me? But I'm going to pray with you privately so God that you can do some certain yokes, okay? Yes, <laughs> go deeper, Daddy. I'm going to talk to you privately so that we break some certain yokes and everything will be fine. Okay, thank you. You hear? God bless yes, Daddy. you. You are lifted. Amen. Ah, God bless you. All right, congratulations. Thank you, Daddy. All right. See, <laughs> some of the times you see these things begin to happen. Me, God will just be showing me these things, these small, small things. Amen. Uh, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. It is hidden, but it's not hidden to God because God knows all. Amen. So I told you, some of the times, some of the times, uh, God will show us these things. So that is why I told her, I'm going to pray for her. It's going to be a private, private talk. I'm going to pray for her. And she gets settled because the enemy doesn't want her to have a settled home. And by God's grace, I believe that she is going to be settled before the month of November, before the month of October, November. Before the month of October, November. Amen. That is what God can do. That is what God can do. So I believe God, by His grace, He will settle her. Oh, I'm seeing some requests. I'm seeing some requests. I'm seeing some requests, and I'm supposed to take this course. I've spent how many more minutes right here? This is one. Okay. See, Nitra said, I was one you were talking about, too. Can you mention the case, the case I mentioned? 
can you mention the case mention the case mention the case mention the case that i mentioned because uh i don't know if i will be able to go back to remember what i said the other time the prophetic word is just going out so i'm giving it the way <clears throat> I'm giving it the way I see it. Hallelujah. And I'm not. Ah. My God. Mention your name. Just mention your name. Shali. Shali. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Your first time? Mm, not my first time. Second time watching you. Okay. Okay. Have I prayed with you on the broadcast like this? Say it again. On the like this? It's my second. It's my second. I can hear you. It's my second time. Okay, I said have I prayed with you on the broadcast like this? Okay. Have I spoken to you on the broadcast before like this? You spoke. You, you you talked to me before. You said. I'm asking. Have I spoken to you on the broadcast like this before? No. Okay. Where is your husband? He's not here. Where is he? At work. At work. Okay. Maliko Jeblade. Jesus Christ. You want a divine visitation. Mm -hmm. You need a divine visitation. Okay. You need a divine visitation, right? Okay. Okay, right. Turn down the volume. Turn, turn down the volume of the TV set. I don't know what happened. Okay. I think it's my internet or something else. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's better now. All right. Look at this. I'm going to quickly pray for you, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to quickly pray for you now so that God is going to touch you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Get a bottle of water very quickly. Okay. Have fun. Yeah. Yes, I got it. Mm -hmm. I got my wallet. Open it if it's closed. Okay. It's open. Okay. Mm -hmm. Father, we give you thanks. 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 We ask Father today that you begin to alter your daughter into the atmosphere of supernatural visitation. Right now we demand oh God that we break protocols for her sake. We break protocols for our sake in the name of Jesus Christ. And every form of the wicked one over her life is hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of the anointing with command, the yoke of blockage and limitation, 
be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. As I decree and declare, precious Father, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you are going to get a female child. Are you there? Yes. I love baby you... girl. Huh? <laughs> because I love girls. I love baby girls. You love That's girls? Right. I love baby, baby girls. Your first child I'm seeing as a girl. Right now, as I was praying for you, God revealed a girl to me. And you are going to get a girl. And um, what's this? Within the shortest period of time, you begin to feel a move in your system. As you take the blood of Jesus Christ. Have you ever been connected to a place like this? Haiti? Yes. I'm from Haiti. You are from Haiti? Mm-hmm. Because while I was speaking to you right now, God is still with me. The yokes, the foundational yokes that are broken from Haiti. Okay? And these things okay. that has limited you for a long period of time. But after now, because of this connection and the blood of Jesus Christ, which you are going to take now, hear me. Today, today, that yoke is being broken. You will carry your children. I'm seeing one, Amen. two, three. I'm seeing four. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe the word of God? Yes, I do. None. Shall the blood of Jesus speak for me three times, then drink that water. Three, two, three times? The blood of Jesus speak for me three times, then you drink the water. Okay. my time it is my time lay your hand on your stomach lay your hand on your stomach yes we break every other covenant that has been placed over your life in the name of jesus christ amen may that womb carry babies now Amen. Thank you, Lord. May that womb carry babies now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. May that womb carry babies now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Not too long ago, you saw yourself playing with children in the dream. Say it again. I said, not too long ago, you saw yourself playing with children in the dream. Yeah. Huh? That's true. That's true. Because as it's I'm true. talking to you right now, God has already released the children. That hand that is holding the children from not entry, it is broken today. Congratulations. In less than nine months Thank and three weeks, we are waiting for your own testimony. Thank you, Father. I will yeah, testify you. soon. In the name of Jesus. It is sure. Thank you. Set it just like that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, man. Good. All right. Thank you. To Jehovah. For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Na ra na ra ye. Na re ke li. Na re ke. Lemu. If I have ten thousand tongues, it still won't be enough. 
we see na re ki le mu if i have ten thousand tongues it still won't be enough na re ki le mu what shall i render to jehovah hmm. for he has done so very much for me what shall i render to jehovah for he has done so very much for me nara nara nariki nariki debu Nara nara e nare ki de na re ki le bu Joko na po mo ga le si de le si na re ki le bu Joko ma lo bi mo Yes, sir. I can hear you, sir. You can hear me, but I can't see you. Okay. I think I'm going to be ending the broadcast right now. This is uh, past 2 a.m. Uh, past 2 a.m. already. <laughs> it's 4. I told you I don't want to waste more time and we ended up. We ended up 2 hours. So I'm just going to use 1 hour, but we ended up using 2 hours. All right. Beloved child of God, God bless each and every one of you. God bless each and every one of you. Glory to God. Naaman Eshet. Naaman Eshet. Your case. Just get a water. Get a bottle of water. Got a bottle of water. Then I pray for it right now. Get a bottle of water. Then I pray for it right now. Ah. Uh, Say Nithra, blessed Prophet John Sin. Hmm. Say Nithra, blessed. Your issue. Your issue is being settled right now. <laughs> your issue is being settled right now. All right. So every one of you who is watching. Those of you that are watching and those of you that are going to watch after now, I pray that God will do something great in your life. She was Sivy, receive your job, receive your job, receive your job. I declare, begin to receive what you have prayed for. Naimon Eshet, right now, as I release the prophetic word over you, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you be healed. Whatever organ in your system that needs to be touched healed right now be healed in the name of jesus christ i ask by the precious blood of jesus may your affliction be rolled away 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 in the name of jesus christ as we decree and we declare precious father so shall it be in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, be delivered, be free. In Jesus' name. Name it. I want you to shout the blood of Jesus Christ. Heal me for seven times. Shout the blood of Jesus Christ. Heal me for seven times. Then drink that water and apply it on your body. Pour it on your body and pour it on that place right now you are going to be healed i'm waiting for your testimony by tomorrow 
I'm waiting for your testimony by tomorrow. Name it. I'm waiting for your testimony by tomorrow. Name it. I'm waiting for your testimony by tomorrow. You are going to receive total healing if you are watching me right now. If you are still watching me and you do as instructed, if you do as instructed, you are going to get that healing. You are going to get that healing. You are going to get that healing. Surely. Amen. I'm going to get the healing. Surely. If you are watching right now. Lord, we bow down and worship you. You are glorious. You are glorious, God. You are glorious. You are glorious, God. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are glorious God. You are glorious God. You are glorious God. Hey, you are glorious God. King of kings, Lord of lords. God bless each and every one of you who is watching and those that are going to watch after now. I pray that you all will have a reason to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray you are going to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, today, by the grace of God, our monthly, our monthly mountain prayer is going to be coming up very soon. This month, I think... Uh, Maybe three days from now, two, three days from now, I should be on the mountain. Amen. For our monthly tacology prayer. So three days from now or three or four days from now, I will be on the mountain, the higher mountain of mercy in Oshun State, Nigeria. I will be there praying for you guys, praying for the ministry, praying for everyone connected to this commission this great family hallelujah as long as you are connected to this family ladies and gentlemen i want you to know that we are going to be putting you in prayer so stay connected by the grace of god uh in a few days from now i will be on the mountain so if you have a special prayer request please kindly send it in send it in send it in send it in and watch this there is something that uh i was asking god the other time there are certain people that send in their request and god does their own very fast and some it looks like it's still pending this time around i want you to challenge heaven with your prayer request amen challenge heaven with your prayer request this month this month you don't you, should, you don't have to end this year the same way you ended last year so by the grace of god we'll be heading to the mountain and please be part of it be part of it be part of it be part of it ken king i don't know if you have any connection with urumi i don't know if you have any connection with urumi urumi Ken King, I want to pray for you so that uh, I rebuke this attack over you. Amen. Pray for you so that I rebuke this attack over you because I see where they want to really mess up with your life. And there is this altar that I'm seeing in Urumi.
Okay. My daughter asked me to ask you to pray for her. She's nine. Oh, I release the hand of God over her. She's delivered. She's healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over the life of your daughter. Right now, the fire of God begins to surround her in Jesus' name. I pray that today that she will grow above her equals. She will grow above her equals. What stop her father will not stop her and what stop her mother will not stop her in Jesus' name. As I decree and declare, it is hereby settled in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Okay, someone said, oh, you say you are from Urobi, Edo State, because I saw where they want to frustrate your life. Ken, Ken is an emergency. Is an emergency. Is an emergency. Ken, as I'm talking to you right now, if you know what is good, I like. I like you to enter into a two days prayer. Ken. 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 There is an altar that is already erected. There is an altar that is already erected for your sake. Amen. So as I'm talking to you right now, I need you to be strong in prayer. I need you to be strong in prayer. I need to be strong in prayer. Ken. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what 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 is wrong or what you guys have done wrong. But I see there are people that have already set themselves apart as an agent of darkness, an agent of the devil, to frustrate your family. And they went on a journey. And this altar I see is in Urumi. This altar I see is in Urumi, and uh, God is saying right now that you should enter into a serious prayer because i see where they want to frustrate your efforts even the papers that you are believing god for for it to be released to you looks like a problem okay my page you take and you say his account has been closed he can't pay his bills help me intercede man of god Type his name on the screen and God of this commission, God of this great family is going to release that account. I am giving that account in less than one month and four days. In less than one month and four days, that account is going to be open. Type his name on the screen, the account is going to be open. Okay, and say I'm going through it already. Okay. God will help us all. Amen. Linda Sally, you are blessed. So, you know, I want to pray with everybody. I want to pray with everybody, but time, 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 time. Time. Okay. See. Tabe Ernest Eno MBI. As long as the name is shown on this screen right now, as, as long as the name is shown on this screen right now, God is going to touch. Touch, 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 touch. You are glorious, God. Beautiful King, excellent God, our great tower. You are great, you are great, you are great. You are great, you are great, you are great, you are great. You are great, you are great. They can say, Papa, what should I do? Get in touch with me immediately after this broadcast. Just send me a message on Messenger immediately after this broadcast, real quick. Immediately after this broadcast. Rashmin, Rashmi, I'm trying to get in touch with you. Please, tomorrow, tomorrow, message me. Rashmi, Rashmi, I need to speak to you over your daughter and your brother. 
Rashmin, I need to speak to you over your sister, your your daughter, and your brother. Ken, message me immediately after this broadcast. Uche Bahara, the paper is already released. Okay, so guys, I will be here again, God's willing, if God permits, tomorrow. Medina, it is released already. Joy, you are lifted, I can see you. Medina, it is settled. It is settled, it is settled, it is settled, it is settled. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. And so, Rashmi, God bless you. Uh, Claire, Cleopatra, Evangelist. Something big is about to happen. This is your season. It's going to happen. Let not your heart be troubled because I see your own miracle is going to silence some people. A miracle is going to silence some voices. That is what God is telling me right now. Your miracle is going to silence some voices. Amen. So by tomorrow, guys, you guys stay connected. You guys stay connected. And for those of you that don't know, the oil of excellence that I have specially prayed upon, the oil of excellence, you need one of the anointing oil that I have specially prayed upon is in, uh, you are in America, you are in Europe, try to get in touch if you need your own oil. It is the oil of excellence, just one. You need your own. They are just limited, not much, just a few. A few of them. If you need that oil, the oil of excellence, I have specially prayed on that oil. I have specially spent time in prayer for that oil. I think some have it. How many of you have the oil of excellence? Some have the oil of excellence. So if you need your own, the oil of excellence. The oil of excellence uh, is available in America. It's available in the Europe zone. So if you need, if you need to get in, get your own oil, just let me know. Get in touch and uh, message me, and I will let you have uh, the oil of excellence. Okay, in the Cayman Island. In the Cayman Island. Okay, what? In Jamaica, for those of you that need it, it's going to be sent to you. It's going to be sent to you. You need the oil of excellence. Specially, specially. So I'm going to drop the contact right here. All you just need to do is get in touch. Get in touch with the contact. Get in touch with the contact. Then uh, someone is asking when I come into Namibia. I will be in Namibia very soon by God's grace. Okay, Julia said I'm coming to Nigeria very soon. Okay, then you are going, if you are coming to Nigeria, then which means you are going to receive another special one from me. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something very, very special. I'm going to give you something very, very special. So I'm going to paste the number on the screen right now. If you need the oil, you can get in touch. You can get in touch with the admin can get in touch with the admin for those of you that need the oil of excellence you need in london it's not much it's just a few i think um if it's much it should be like 15. if the oil of excellence is much it should be like 15. 10 i think 10 or 15 is not much because god uh instructed me to just release a few release a few just release that few amen so uh make sure you place your order for your own and as you do so the lord bless you in jesus name a lot of people have countless testimonies through that oil of excellence through that oil of excellence uh so many people so many people have shared their own testimony countless countless just that have not been able to uh paste some of those things on uh, facebook but 
God is so good that we have received countless testimonies via the oil of excellence. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to paste the number on the screen. Uh, maybe some might depend on the zone where you are. Some might depend on the zone where you are. It's not, I think it's not much. It's not much as it should be around a 10 to 20 or 30, I don't know. Depending on the zone where you are, it's not much. We just move them there so that it will be easier for you guys to assess it. So the number shown on the screen number shown on the screen uh you see it number shown on the screen you can get in touch get in touch get in touch get in touch as you do so the lord bless you so make sure you have your own make sure you have your own the faster the faster you get your own it's not much god has not instructed me to make a uh, bonds but we just was uh we just follow the instruction of god and make the lead to he said i should anoint and especially spend time in fasting and prayer with you juliana do you have your own juliana do you have your own let me know if you have your own juliana i don't know if you have your own juliana just let me know if, if you still have your own oil of excellence please uh okay just show me your own oil of excellence very quickly show me your own oil of excellence get it let me see because some people would definitely need it's not much uh, and i'm not selling these things because maybe we want to sell no just they are divinely given unto us amen when god said just take these things Pray over it. Spend time in prayer over it. For the 30 days we prayed uh, in January, 30 days we prayed over it. We prayed over it and before we release it, and it has been doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, Sir Prince, you don't have in Sweden. I'm going to release it. I think Joy Joy received her own in, in Sweden. Where's your message? Let, let Joy show me her own. Uh, Juliana, I think Juliana has. Juliana, where is your oil of excellence? Yes, my. I have it. Let me see. <laughs> Bring it closer. Let me see with my two eyes. <laughs> Here is it. Almost. Amen. You are even managing your own. <laughs> yes. Amen. All right, that Amen. is the oil of excellence for those that are. Um, I think Sir Prince, Sir Prince, you get your own. So mm. this is the oil of excellence. It's just limited, like 15. I don't know. I don't think it's even up to 15. Like 10. should be like 10 or thereabouts within 10 or 15. So it is the oil of excellence. Make sure you try to get your own. Mm. God bless you. So, <laughs> Juliana, enjoy your own. God bless I'm you. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Israel, God bless you. All right. Okay, that is the oil of excellence right there. Is in is in Sweden. That is the oil of excellence in Europe. Is in Sweden already. Amen. Is in Sweden already. So uh try to get your own. 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 And if you do, if you want yours, you can even message me. You can inbox me that you need your own. And as you do so, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to watch. Stay connected. Amen. And you can also share and invite your friends and loved ones. And please, you guys, don't forget about our upcoming project that we are having. Our upcoming project that we are having. We are supposed to commence the project from the third day. Amen.
we are supposed to be having uh, it's supposed to be commencing soon but by god's grace i believe that um when everything is in place that we will start amen to the glory of god god bless you guys so i'll see you tomorrow stay connected to remain elevated i remain your brother your son your prophet your father prophet desmond will be amen so i might be coming in the evening or in the night just like this but make sure you turn on your notification so that you can as well see when i'm coming god bless you apostle to carry amen god bless you sir god bless you sir god bless you sir god bless you sir as you do so lord bless you in jesus name amen shalom 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 peace i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys I love you guys. I love you guys. See you all tomorrow. Oh, which is already it's already today. My own time is already today. See you guys today. Amen. Stay blessed. In Jesus name. Shalom. Peace.